Maggie Doyle. My family and myself have been attending the harvest for about six years now. Um, I have always struggled with lies from the enemy. I always felt unworthy, unloved, unwanted, but something snapped. Um, Pastor D was preaching October 26th, and out of the sermon, I, um, he was talking about a man that was over 40 years old. And I'm well over 40, and I was watching everyone else get breakthrough, receive things, get answered prayers. Not that the Lord never answered my prayers, because my prayers He did answer, but in believing for something really big or anything that was um, real, I don't know, I, but he, I just felt like he never heard my prayers. And I felt like my purpose was done. There really wasn't anything that I was able to do. There wasn't anything else in this world for me except to be here and to keep praying for what I've been praying for. And so when he was talking about the person over 40, I grabbed that. And I said, well, I'm well over 50. There's a plan and a purpose for me. He's not done with me yet. And during ministry time that day, God touched my heart. He did something in me and I wasn't quite realizing what he did. And I was asking the Lord, what are you doing, Lord? What are you doing, Lord? Something's happening, something's happening. And when I walked out of service that day, and throughout the week, I realized the Lord had put in me His love. I received His love. I knew His love. I knew I was special. I knew I was loved. I knew He had a plan. He had a purpose. I knew He didn't forget me. And I was walking differently, seeing it differently. Let go of the lies. The lies are gone. And I have His love. And I know inside that I have his love. And nothing can stop me now. Nothing. The enemy has no control over me any longer. And I'm free. I am totally free to walk in his love. And this fast is different. This fast isn't the same as the other fasts have been. The other fasts were all about almost getting on the bandwagon with everybody else. Expecting. Getting excited. But this year, it's different. This year, my prayers will be answered. This year, I am believing for big things, kingdom big things, and I am excited. And I want to encourage you to know his love. Rebuke the lies of the enemy. Receive his love and and nothing is too small for God. Nothing, nothing, nothing is too small for God. He loves you.